Welcome. Well, Tricky! Oh, look at him go. Welcome home, gamers. Tricky just loves rolling around in the lava fields. Just like any other dog would. That's true. Am I right? It do dog gamers. Okay. I almost fell off. Wow. Well, good to know that... I mean, there's basically are inv invisible walls, because if you fall off, he's just going to catch it. Yeah. You got to really fuck up to fall in that lava. I've so... Actually, I don't think I've ever fallen in the lava before. I've I been doubt close that. close to. I... I... Who... I doubt that. Oh! Okay. That jump scared me. You I can tell. I can tell. Anyways, we're in the dark ice mines. In the dark ice mines. There you go. Oh, wow. You see those rocks fall? Yeah. That's great. Oh, there's the dark in the ice. The dark in the ice. Well, it is nighttime. Why did we land inside the volcano? I don't know. It's not clear. Also. Yes. Why did we leave the blaster? Because I remember in the very beginning cutscene, he's like, oh, I gotta leave my blaster in the car. In uh, the car. In the car. Um, well, because like, we're not about blowing up the planet, apparently. Yeah. But, I mean, there's bad guys, and if Fox could just shoot them, this game would be so much easier, rather than having, like, viciously murder each one. <laughs> I know. Why can't we just murder them in a pack? Exactly. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Thank you. Nice. Thank oh, you. I thought it was an automatic thing. Like, you go in, you gotta come out. No. But, uh, no. Anyways, we're anyways. cooking our dinner, and then after this, we're gonna watch a Harry Potter. Harry Potter 3. Yeah. So what happens in this Harry Potter? What's well, like, this what's is like the prisoner of Azkaban. What's the premise? We're gonna meet the prisoner of Azkaban. Oh yeah, Harry's uncle, right? Mm -hmm. And, yeah, because you've never seen 3, so you don't really know anything about... And I've also <laughs> barely seen 4. Yeah. I know I said I saw 4, but like, I'll be honest, I've seen the, really. I saw the siren thing twice. And I and the I know siren thing. Oh, the uh, the water. Yeah. And I know eyeball guy's evil. Though that's the only thing I know about the uh, movie. And you know Voldemort's back. Voldemort's back. So Is he not already back? No, but I mean, like, in, he that's where he gets his actual form. He doesn't have a form yet. No, he was on the back of someone's skull. Right. I, I saw his face pretty well there. Yeah, but no, he needs. At uh, Chamber of Secrets, he was Tom Riddle. Yeah, but he needs to get his own body in this real world. Oh, so he doesn't have a body? No, he doesn't have a body. He just has like a soul. Wow, what a fucking noob. I know. Also, so real quick, when uh, he was drinking the unicorn blood in Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. Like, so Buddy had to go kill a unicorn and then, like, awkwardly, like, turn around and, like, sit down, like, crab style so yeah. Voldemort could eat off the back of his head. Yeah. Like, just try lying down and, like, rubbing the back of your head against something. It, it's, it feels pretty weird. Yeah, how did he get in that angle? I just want to know. Like, yeah. how, like... Also, I mean, he was wearing a hood. Mm -hmm. So, that means that, like, he didn't even see because Voldemort was seen. So, Voldemort had to, like, run backwards. With uh, with Buddy. Well, did he just? Yeah, did he or did he just put the hood up once? You know, started drinking. Got it. So like yeah. you know, like they just they just turned the cloak around. Yeah. Well, it was like, hey guy, okay, cool, good job. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I wonder if he was Professor Banner. Um, Are we talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? No, we're talking about the same guy, but I didn't know what he was, and Banner was the first thing that came to mind. Coral. Mind. Coral. Close enough. Alright, when Professor Coral, like, was he Close actually enough. evil or was he, like, possessed by Voldemort? Well, I guess we'll never know because he died. He dies? Did you watch that movie at all? Oh, yeah, he got disintegrated by love. Did, did you. Did you watch? Well, I just assumed because it was Harry Potter, like, young kid age, so, like, they're not gonna let, you know, the 12 year old actually murder someone. Ah, uh, did you. Did you watch the movie? The first one? Yeah. Yeah, I did. He disintegrated him with love. And Voldemort's spirit, like, zoomed through him. Spirit. And then he went, ah! <laughs> and then he fell to the ground and woke up in their cover room later. In their cover room. And, uh, what's it called? Voldemort, or not Voldemort, Dumbledore, the good one. Uh, what's it called? Got, got the bad jelly bean. God. What? I love, I love the certain things that you remember. Okay, you want me to tell you that? Okay, I'm trying to remember the movie. So, the movie starts off with Hagrid riding his sweet motorcycle, which we don't see again, which makes me sad. Across the sky, uh, Pris um, Professor McGon McGonimer? 
McGonagall. McGonagall. Okay, closer at least. I know. And Dumbledore are talking, then uh, Hagrid's gonna zoom in, give up the baby, he's sad. But it's not goodbye, it's a see you later. Yo, know, 10 years. So Hagrid's just such a saucy. I love him. I know. Um, Sorcerer's Stone. So then, zoom in 10 years, Harry's in a horrible family. Uh, apparently, like his aunt or something. Yeah, it's his blood aunt. His blood aunt, which is the reason. Which, by the way, Harry Potter, like the guy who like is going to duel Voldemort one day. They don't want to put him in a better home. You don't want to put him in a better home? You don't want to teach him about magic earlier on? Give him as much of an edge as possible? Hmm. Just saying. Just I know, saying. like, why didn't they just find a foster, like, a, like the Weasley? Why didn't Dumbledore take care of him? I get. I you get, know Dumbledore's door is uh, supposedly gay? Oh, yeah, he's, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? In universe gay. Um, but what I don't like about that, I'm just throwing this out there, yeah. is he never had, like, a love interest in the actual books, right? No, but it's not about. It. Then there's the, um, because now there's. What is the before ones? You know? The before. Um, oh. uh, you know, the one. Oh, with the uh, Mad Mythical Beasts? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. So there's that's supposedly where things come out. Okay. But I haven't seen the second. Uh, but piece. he was labeled gay before the mythical piece ever came out, right? Yeah. And so I feel like to me I don't like that cause, just because it's um, pandering or whatever. Because like he was never labeled as straight. Yeah. So it's like, oh hey, he's gay. Love this book even more because I include people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like have like a gay character. Have Malfoy be gay. Malfoy. Uh, uh, Draco Malfoy. Um, what is it, Alex, like, Malfoy? 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 Okay, you've learned the flame command! Sweet! Now you can go burn some ice, bitches. Burn some burn, baby, burn! Just I, I was so exhausted, I could help. But we need ice. to get him some food. Does he want rock candy, too? You know, that sounds good. Chicken sandwiches? Yeah, but... Uh... Fried pickles? Well, fried pickles, yeah, I just started thinking about those. V8 so now those juice? I drank my V8 juice. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I, for the first, like, two big gulps, and I'm like, all right. Now I'm done. I, I, got, I got what I needed out of this. And they tossed the rest? Yeah. All right, it was, like, that. less well, than I, half, though. I still respect it. Yeah, because those are really mini cans. Yeah. And Janine just, like, rolled over to me in the middle of the night a couple nights ago. And she's like, hey, you know what I'm craving? And I'm like, oh, no, you pray for this. Hey, if I tell you something, you promise not to make fun of me. And I told her no. So she's like, you know what I really miss? Or you know what I'm really craving? I don't know why I was craving it. V8 juice. And then this moment you said, I'm like, damn, that actually sounds pretty good. Like, so, you know what? Sometimes I just want, like, tomato juice. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I crave this. tortilla soup a lot, but not necessarily, like, the soup, more just, just the, the broth. broth. Yeah. That, oh. Oh, it's so good. We should make that again. Tortilla soup? Yeah. Right, just I'll for pull the out broth. Martha. Martha's our 10 gallon pot, for those of you who don't know. She's a good girl. She's a great pot. Named after Kevin's granny. Well, yeah, because my granny is a great cook. She is. And, you know, we we figure, you know, naming it after a good cook, a good chef. It's it's an, it's a, uh... Yeah. There you go. I want to name uh, my cast iron skillet when I get one one day, or a Dutch oven, uh, Bobby Flay. What? Or Emerald. Emerald. Did you ever have an Emerald cookbook? No. I have an Easy Bake Oven. Oh, my gosh. Uh, no, I remember having the Emerald Cookbook. It was like a cookbook for kids or whatever. Cookbook and for kids! My mom told me, what's it called? I could circle like any three things in there because we were trying to get into cooking. Uh huh. Uh, and we would make those. Right. And so I remember I circled ribs and she's like, nope, we're not doing that. Like, oh. Well, let's not get to make ribs. Oh, yeah, because I circled like ribs, burgers, and like something else. All, all red meat stuff. Oh, I love red meat. It's like, so well, good you're marrying. Pick something me. else. Oh, yeah, no, I really want to marinate some chicken and fry that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what were you going to say you were craving? Well, now I'm craving fried pickles. Yeah. But, oh, that steak from, um, that is also just getting in my brain. From when the holiday I, end. When I get really hungry, yeah. then I just start craving stuff, and I just don't know what I'm actually craving. It's very unfortunate. It is. So, Kevin, I'm going to be a bitch when I'm pregnant, and you know that. Very oh, well. I know. That was, like, the first thing we agreed on. Yeah. Because it's not like, I won't be, probably not emotional, it's just going to be, I'm going to be so hungry all the yeah, time. It's, I'm not going to be good with the kids, you're not going to be good when you're pregnant. It's it's a trade-off. I'll, I'll help the kids when they're in the womb, you the help home. the kids when they're outside the womb. All you got to do is read them magic cards in the womb. In the womb? I mean, that's what I'm going to do. Some people sing to it now. 
They're going to learn about magic, the There's gathering. A, one spoiler. I, okay, we need to pair up the kids' things with uh, spoiler season. The kids' births? The kids' births. The ki Oh, you mean like when they're in? They're in there for nine months. They're going to be in there for at least one. Yeah. Well, at least two. Right. I suppose it's never four months. Um, thing. what? Yeah. I'm just saying, though, like, for the first month, you don't really know that you're pregnant. Right? Right. Or is it more just, like, a guess? Well, you Like, can... when, when does the period test, or the uh, pregnancy the test period turn, test. turn positive? And you can usually start taking it, I think, like, after a month, but maybe earlier. Okay. Sometimes, like, people are like, oh, three weeks. Like, if you know your period's supposed to come and it doesn't, you're like, oh, I should probably take a test. Yeah. But, like, um, is it... It, it doesn't, like, turn blue or doesn't give the positive sign or whatever. Not always. Right away, yeah. Right away, so you gotta, like, keep testing. Yeah. Keep testing! Keep Crap, what is oh, the other Oh, your thing? period is absolutely affected by your stress level, though. Yeah, you learned that. Oh, my gosh. That was a bad, like, few weeks. <laughs> Judy was just really stressed because we were going home and... Well, it's hard being home and, like, not in your usual... No, I, I agree. I, I can understand. I don't understand periods. I'm not gonna claim I do. But who we who are, ting tang wow wow bing bang. If we're if you say we're supposed to leave at ten. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. I like to leave on time. Sometimes that doesn't happen when we're Janine in California. Janine is a planner, and when things don't go as planned as what she has told, yeah. or at least there is not an effort to be made to do it, then that just I and that starts to get me anxiety because I've gotten so used to it. Because uh, what's it called? I started doing that for you. Is just like okay, I tell you dinners at five thirty. Dinners mm -hmm. at five thirty. Yeah, it's just or at least like you know the plan is for it. maybe it needs to yeah, a like bit longer. and if something like is an emergency, totally get that. Yeah, you know. But it's just oh oh wow, big boulders. Big boulders, big big boulders. Oh, I know where it is actually. You just need some. You just need something to be reliable, and I get I it. I do. Oh, uh, like Tricky's also gonna things. need some grubbing soon. Okay, I can't remember if it's at this end or if it's the, at the other end. There. This end. Hey, Tricky! Tricky bitch! Flame! Flame that hoe! Nice. So why won't your fire staff work on it? Because it's not strong enough. Damn it, I gotta give Tricky some food. I told you. I know. Told you gotta give him some grubbins. Well, I got more grubs here. Yeah, you do. Hey, tricky, fine. See oh, good. So I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. There's something near. There's something near. You don't say you dinosaur. You don't bloody say. Um, That's right, I'm British now. I'm British now. All because we're watching Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, back to Harry Potter. Very excited for this movie. Uh, almost everybody says that third is, like, their favorite movie. Well, it's also Hermione's. Uh, Hermione's, Ron, and Harry's favorite movies. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But it's also the movie that made the least amount of money. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh, I was not expecting that. I wonder, was it like the worst book or something? Um, it was a pretty long book, but I mean, a lot of stuff happened in it. I will say they look a lot more grown up on the covers. Yeah. The first two, they're kids. They're just this babies. This one, they look adult, and then the well, not adult. They look like they, they look like teenagers. You yeah. know, people who are actually able to do stuff. Um, what's it called? But uh, and then the fourth book is just bad hair. Yeah. Oh god. It kind of reminds me of your brother in uh, college. He was that, a vampire. I know. Oh, so bad. Or Chad, lesbian you didn't Kevin. Have good hair. Yeah. You. You both. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I used to have like really long hair, and one day I combed it to be like a perfect sphere with my head. This is really impressive. And I just looked like a lesbian woman. Right. You would. You would have thought that I was cross dressing. Should we do this now or do it on the next episode? Well, let's do it now. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do oh, it. Oh, no, I know what's about to happen. You do? You remember this part? Oh, I do remember this part. I oh, do, look at I that. Do. Kevin has paid attention. Wow. Well, All right. This is episode eight. This is what I called the uh, sledding thing. Mm -hmm. That was episode three. I know. Hot dilly dong dang. Well, there will be another sledding yeah. in the future. We still only have one of seven Krizoa spirits, so strap in for a long series, folks. It's a fun series, though. Oh, yeah. I think it's been going pretty well. It has been. We listened to episode one recently. I think it's pretty good. The audio's great. The new setup's working really well. Which we were kind of worried about. Yeah, well, because this is the first time we're using a mic on a mic stand. Yeah. Um, and we're not on the desk. recording off of the computer. like. Yeah, we're actually like not emulating and all that stuff. And things are going well. 
But you it know what? It makes me nervous. What? Covers is making me nervous. nervous. I think we're going to discuss more of that. I just have to find the landing platform. There we go. On the next episode, because it's chicken sandwich time. Chicken sandwich time! Bye! Bye!